I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Cool problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Perhaps I could talk to Gaina for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I... I I'm willing to try anything. It can't hurt. Siranas. Oh, Ma Siranas. I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. You do that. Now we're gonna talk to his girlfriend. Whoa. No, that's not her. So you are the Grey Warden who is supposed to save us? I never thought I would hear of an outsider who would ever do anything for us. Andaran Atishan, outsider. You are Gaina, correct? Common mentioned you. You spoke to him? What did he say? He said that you refused to give him your hand. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? If you love him, it doesn't matter what he is, does it? But. What if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? If you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. Oh, you are right! I have made poor Kamen miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. You do that. Go ahead. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? Wh what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. Oh, I'm such a nice person. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. This is so wonderful. Young love allowed to flourish. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. I found it odd that people give like something that's been in the family for ages and they just you know, get on give it. it up. I'm stupid. Oh, money. Now, um, I was looking for something. No, it's not here either. Strange. Okay, that's stuck there. The Hala. Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. Who are you? My name is Alora. I am the master herder in charge of caring for the Hala. Not as exciting as being a Grey Warden, but the Hala are vital to us. What is a Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. 
My own people keep similar herds, but of horses. I have seen your horses. The relationship is different, as is the purpose. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. So why have you separated this one from the others? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Um... Survival? Try to calm the holla? Yes, that's it, she's calming down. That's it, love. Be calm. Tell me what troubles you. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another Hala was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Masiranus, thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. I will always be grateful for your help. You're welcome. All right, no, I was looking for something. A chest. <laughs> Let's look around a bit. Oh. Now's better than later. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly, the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. <laughs> Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. You're most welcome here, stranger. Is there anything I might do to help you in your task? What exactly do you make here? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. What if I found some iron bark for you? I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. Very well. I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. That would please me. So long as our hunters come first. I should go. Oh, oh no. Shiro. Wait. May the creators visit fortune upon you. What? Did I... Oh, okay. I thought I didn't click on that, but whatever. Are there presents? Oh, presents. That's all. Is this good? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those Dalish boots and such. Can I sell something? I guess I'm gonna sell the leather boots. And leather armor. Noodle clothing, where did I get that? Oh, whatever. 
Hmm. Okay. And equip it. Oh, I already wore the English armor. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, daily armor. There. Completely Dalish. Oh no, I will. I will just start it. What? What the hell is Dalish? Dalish gloves? Yeah. And Dalish boots. Okay, now I'm complete. Oh, well, maybe I can give it to someone else. Seven, what are you wearing? 116, Done. Okay, now we have to look around first. <laughs> no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Take all. Now, am I wrong? Because I thought there was something here that I needed, but apparently it isn't. Okay, is this the way to the forest? Because there are like two ways. I trust there are no hard feelings about my questioning of you when you arrived. We Dalish must protect ourselves from trouble at all times. I understand. Had we known a Grey Warden was coming, we might have arranged a different reception. But I wish you good fortune with your task. Darth Shiral. Whatever. Uh, let's do the world map. We don't have to go there. We have to go to the other... Wait, wait a minute. Uh, where is that? Look around a bit. Ooh. Oh crap. It's over there. Oh, over there. Alright, people. To the Brazilian forest. Brazilian, not Brazilian. <laughs> I'm kind of stupid, aren't I? Okay, these loading screens take long. Oh wait, no they don't. Okay, now we walk and we fight and we do everything we have to do. <coughs> okay, that's loud. Okay, so those big things are where and I can't oh, even hear myself talk. None of them? Phew. Fine. Hi there, little wolf. I want to get different Someone options can help when with? you're talking. Oh yeah, you can ask her about what she knows of this place, but... I've a question, oh. if I may. Go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to 